now let us discuss about photoelectric transducers so let us see photoelectric transducers so photoelectric transducers works on the principle that when light of uh, adequate intensity strikes a special combination of materials then it may result in the flow of electrons or generation of voltage or else a change in the resistance so depending upon uh, these three parameters the physical quantity or the non electrical quantity is being measured so the non electrical quantity may be measured in terms of a uh, uh, change in the resistance or uh, generation of voltage or flow of electrons so here photoelectric based on that the photoelectric transducers are classified into three types one is photoemissive cell another one is photovoltaic cell and third one is photoconductive cell so let us discuss about these three types of photoelectric transducers so now let us say photoelectric transducers see these photoelectric transducers are especially used to measure light in terms of different electrical quantities so let us see first photoemissive cell these photoemissive cells are also known as phototubes it is based on the emission of electrons from a metal cathode when it is exposed to light radiations so this is the diagram of photoemissive cell it consists of two metal electrodes one is cathode and another one is anode these two electrodes are supported uh, they are fixed in an evacuated glass bulb uh, fitted with a base like thermionic valve the cathode is the cathode plate is either semi cylindrical or v shaped and is made up of metal coated with an emissive material and there is an anode and anode is in the form of thin wire facing towards cathode so now when light of adequate in intensity falls on the cathode then photo electrons are emitted and these the emitted electrons are attracted towards anode and because of that there will be a flow of current and the magnitude of this current depends upon the light irradiated on cathode so therefore here the quantity of light is proportional to the current flowing through flowing through the anode so therefore the incident light is measured in terms of current here now let us discuss about photovoltaic cell this photovoltaic cell is also called as a transducer which can be used to measure the incident light in terms of the voltage developed so it converts light energy into uh, the electrical voltage so input light energy is measured in terms of voltage developed so in this cell sensitive element is a semiconductor which generates voltage in proportion to light energy incident on it the most commonly used photovoltaic cells are barrier layer type like iron selenium cells so as shown in the diagram here this photovoltaic cell uh, made up of a selenium cell consists of a metal electrode it has a bottom metal electrode on which there is a layer of selenium on top of this there is a barrier layer is formed which is coated with a thin layer of a very thin layer of gold this gold layer serves as transluent electrode through which light can impinge on the layer below so under the influence of this light a negative charge will build up on the gold electrode and a positive charge on the bottom electrode 
so because of this the emf or voltage will be developed across these two electrodes and the magnitude of this voltage developed is directly proportional to the light radiations falling on this barrier layer so therefore here the incident light is measured in terms of the output voltage developed now let us discuss about photoconductive cell in this photoconductive cell the input light radiations are measured in terms of change in the resistance of the material on which the light radiation falls so this photoconductive cell uses a semiconductor material whose resistance changes according to the radiant energy received usually the resistivity of the semiconductor materials like selenium cadmium sulfide lead sulfide and so on is decreased when the light radiations fall on it so uh, therefore here you can see the diagram of uh, the selenium cell photoconductive cell it consists of a semiconductor selenium semiconductor which is kept in between two electrodes and when light radiations fall on this semiconductor the resistivity of the semiconductor decreases and as a result its resistance also decreases and because of which the current flowing through this material increases to a large value and this current increased is measured it gives the value of input light radiation so as uh, there is more amount of light falling on the semiconductor material so there will be uh, there will be decrease in the resistance and increase in the current so therefore current flowing through the semiconductor is directly proportional to the light radiation falling on it so light radiation is measured in terms of increase in the current so in this way these uh, photoelectric transducers are used in order to measure the light radiations in terms of different electrical quantities